Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. During this video, we'll be looking at how the VMware feature called vMotion is used to move shutdown as well as running Avaya virtualization enabled virtual machines. This video will describe some of the functions of VMware vMotion. All Avaya virtualized applications support its function and use. Its most basic function is to provide a method to migrate virtual machines from one hypervisor to another. This function would be used for maintenance or load balancing across data centers. The function can be used to move running virtual machines, but it is wise to consider the move at non-peak times. The same function can be provided on a shutdown virtual machine as well. We will look at the interface to see an option to move the storage as well as the virtual machine. The movement of the storage is part of another VMware function called vStorage Motion. There are two VMware technologies, DRS, Distributed Resource Scheduling, and VMware HA, High Availability. They use VMware vMotion as part of their normal process. Those functions will not be discussed here, but vMotion can be employed automatically in these applications to move VMs based on a set of rules that are set up and established. We will start by utilizing the vSphere client on my desktop. The vSphere client is a thick client that was utilized to perform the day-to-day -day VMware activities. The left pane is the view from the host and data cluster view. Going down the left pane are all the virtual machines the hosts they reside on and the cluster that those hosts are part of. There are two hosts we'll be looking at. In the view that we are looking at, the hosts are listed by their individual IP addresses. The two we'll be looking at specifically are hosts 10.130.80.6 and 80.7. For the benefit of the video, I will be pretending I need to clear the virtual machines off of the 80.6 host to allow me to put it in maintenance mode for me to apply VMware updates to that particular hypervisor. I have selected the 80.6 host and selected the tab called Virtual Machines. There are two VMs running on this host. They are labeled ACE Beta and PS Sprint Beta. The PS Sprint Beta is shut down and the ACE Beta is a running virtual machine on this host. The small green indicator on the right side of the icon indicates that, that it is running. To perform the migration, I have to right click on the particular virtual machine and select the Migrate link to bring up the Migrate Virtual Machine Wizard. I have performed this step on the shutdown VM PS Sprint Beta. Shown are three choices in the wizard on a shutdown VM. I have selected the change host choice in this example. The other two choices allow the data store to be moved and in the case of the shutdown virtual machine, the host and data store can be moved together. I have selected the change host choice and press the next button. The next page of the wizard allows for me to select the target host. I am drilling down to the 80.7 host and have selected it. In the lower box labeled compatibility, you can see the message that the validation succeeded. That message indicates that all the required resources are available in the target machine. Selecting the next button provides a summary screen. On the summary screen, there are a few points to note. The host line indicates a target, the data store stays on the current location, and the vMotion priority is set at the default priority as this VM is shut down. Pressing the Finish button starts the migration. As you can see in the Recent Tasks section in the lower portion of the screen, the status is updated as it is migrated. Looking at the target host after migration is completed, you can see that the VM has moved and remains shut down. Moving on to the other virtual machine, which is the ACE instance, I will right-click on it from within the virtual machine view of the host. Notice it brings up the same dialog as what was shown when I right-clicked in the left pane. In the virtual machine wizard, note the third choice is grayed out as the VM is running. The change host choice is selected. Selecting the next button, the target destination can be selected. I have drilled down to the 80.7 host again. 
The validation has once succeeded and pressing the next button brings up the dialog for the vMotion priority dialog. The high priority button is selected as this is a recommended choice for running virtual machine to be vMotioned. Selecting next brings up the summary screen and pressing finish starts the transfer of the VM to the new host. Watching the status bar, the virtual machine is being transferred. Now that the transfer has completed, clicking on the target host shows us that the two VMs have been moved. Finally going back to the original host, it can be put into the maintenance mode by right clicking on the host and selecting the link Enter Maintenance Mode. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.